Hello everybody, this is Ben from Crescent Wolf Studios, previously known as Affiliate Wolf, but I rebranded recently. I am here to show you one of the, well, some of the newest products in the Hex plushie line from Lewis Dawkins, aka Docco from YouTube. Now, uh, as you know, these are the Hex plushies, parts and service, as you can tell from the tag. And they're basically magnetic and you can swap out pieces and all that and that you can take off the accessories in their hands. I thought I'd take the time this morning to make a massive review for the toy animatronics, the candy cat and pop goes animatronics, and also the puppet. It took me a while to get all these, especially since shipping was a little delayed, not too bad, but just, it took a lot longer than I expected. It's perfectly fine though, it was well worth the wait. These were very good. So anyways, we got, to let me just start with the bear of the cast, the main character of the toy animatronics, Toy Freddy. Looks pretty good, got a lot of detail on there. I like the stitching, I like how it all fits together so well. Like his parts are more firm, like probably stuffed with more like stuffing because they're toy animatronics and hard plastic in the games and it kind of fits the the build pretty well. The fur is very short too. It's like a not necessarily. It looks it's a little hard to tell from my camera because it's on my phone. It's like a a very refined fuzz, like not a fuzz, but like a, a mink. I guess you could say it's a very short orange mink. And his belly, it's kind of like regular mink. Like, the, the mink on the belly is shorter, and on the actual body itself is slightly longer and a little more curly. Like, if you've seen toys with that kind of fur, you already, you already know what this is. It's like a slightly longer fur on the mink, and it's slightly curly, like, kind of like a perm, but less, not as curly as that. So his legs come off, his arms come off, and his head comes off, of course, and so does his microphone. He only has the magnet in the one hand, which is a little different for me because here's a Spring Bonnie, for example. He has magnet magnets in both of his hands, so you can swap it from there to there, or you could just have him carry two accessories. But for the toy animatronics and all the ones after them, just have the one in the hand with a magnet. It's a little different than I expect, but it's not too bad. Like, the, it, all the detail is very worth it. I like how they got the teeth, which is pretty good, and the little stubby tail is pretty fun. Yeah, I like how they did the eyelashes too. That's that's so much like the toy animatronics, it's insane. And uh, I'm gonna show you the trading cards that these come with too. Here's a uh, Toy Freddy's. A little bit of a glare there, but... Oh. Uh, there you go. You can see it, it's pretty pretty cool. It's got a lot of that detail in there. I like how they're in the hard plastic, like, sleeves too, like, so that way they last for a long time. And uh, here's Toy Chica. The legs come off. She's got her little, uh, short... Well, I don't even know what that is. Like, some people might call it like, sh I, I, I'll just say shorts. She's wearing these little, we can skip this part. <laughs> She's got her little tail, her little straps for her ape, for her bib, her cupcake, which comes off the plate and the plate comes off the hand. You got the head that comes off. You can take the bib off if you want, but I'm not gonna do that. And you can take the beak off, just like in the game. Of uh, Five Nights at Freddy's too. It's pretty cool. Like, I really like how the cupcake looks different than the regular Chica. Let me just pull her out. Like, the cupcake on Toy Chica is different than regular T Chica's cupcake. Because this one, the one here, is actually lit, lit up like a candle. The only drawback, the this one's candle only has the colors on one side, while the ones on Chica's has color on both sides. It's a little strange, like I could, I could understand budget cuts or something like that, like 
with stuff like this, sorry, that's my dog Ava. She, she probably sees the landscapers outside. These toys are very good quality. Like I'm not even kidding. Like I can't even begin to imagine how much thought was put into these. Like you'd have to ask the man himself, Daco. You have to ask him somehow, cause it's just insane. I, I'm baffled by how good it is. So anyways, here's Chica, Toy Chica's card. It's a little easier to see cause it's not as dark as Toy Freddy's. It's pretty cute. And uh, Toy Bonnie is next. He's, I get mixed feelings about this one. His ears are stick out a little bit, like instead of just being like that, they're like, sometimes they go like that. But it's actually a very good, good toy. Like his teeth are divided by some stitching there. Hang on. Hang on that like, Well, you can just see the stitching a little bit. He, his guitar doesn't have the strap like Bonnie does. Bonnie, regular Bonnie's does. Let me pull him on real quick. I got him right here. Like as you can see, Bonnie has a, regular Bonnie has a strap on there that goes around his neck, if, you, if you're so inclined to do it that way. Uh, Toy Bonnie doesn't have that strap, which is a little strange. I might add that later, but at the moment, he's pretty good. Legs come off, arms, head, He's pretty good. I like I like how they got his tail right. Like he has Toy Bonnie has a white tail in the game. And I like how they portrayed a lot of the details in this guy. Like I, he's one of my second. Well, for the toy animatronics, Toy Chica is the favorite because she has more pieces to take off. Toy Freddy is second favorite. Toy Bonnie is easily like third place. Like the here's his card which is pretty good. He's like crawling through a vent and all that. And here's Balloon Boy. What, the th only reason he's on the bottom of the list is, well, two reasons. He's Balloon Boy, nobody likes him. He's a troll in the game. <laughs> and second, I'm not a fan of the hard plastic here. Like I understand they were trying to go for realism with this guy, but also, and also, I did have to insert more magnets in the arms, like I had to use a seam splitter and t take that open. And even on the balloon itself, I had to do my own stitching to insert a bigger magnet because like the arms would fall off, the head would fall off. Like I think Docos fixed that with his more recent versions. Like here's the thing, I pre-ordered all of the hex plushies, like every single one, including the ones from the comic books that Docco made. and. They had their own little quirks, uh, a few issues here and there, but they were pre-orders, so that's what, you basically get the first ones off the press, and at, at like most products, the first ones are always some of the less, like some of the less successful in productivity, but I, I can't complain, these are all very good. His sign comes off, he, he's the only one with magnets in both his hands, which is, like, I, I don't mind that. I just wish they did, like, if I could choose, I would have magnets in both hands on each one, but it was good enough, too. I like him. I like his little face. I like all that stuff. And I like how they did the sleeves. Like, those are, those are separate from the, from the actual arm. You can fold them out and fold them back in. It, it's class. I like it. Feels like an actual shirt on there. Here's his sign, or his, uh, here's his card, where he's just standing, let me see, a little hard to see, it looks like he just came out of the vent, like you can see in the corner there, or on the side there you can see, he just came out of the vent, he's just standing there, probably gonna steal your AA batteries and all that, and uh, yeah, so let's move on, here's Candy Cat, now these, him, him and Popgoes are the more unique ones of the bunch out of all the ones he Docos made. Because one, he has a tail that comes off. The, other than that, he's pretty good. I like his bow tie. I like his little tie. His arms come off and his legs, like all the other ones. And I like his burger. I've never seen this in the in the candy games, like with Candy Cat. 
they've actually seen that, but everything is pretty good. Like he's, I have like a few favorites out of the whole product line of Hex plushies. He is one of my top five. I'm not even kidding. Like he's that good quality. Like I like his little teeth and I like his tie. I like his burger. I, I love it all, man. It, it's just really good. And the best part, Sometimes the magnet in the hands of the plushies kind of just sticks out, but if you if you work it in, it looks like he just got regular hands. Like you can barely see the magnet if you like work on press the fabric down a little bit, push the magnet deeper in there. Like he looks good. And then let me find his card. Here it is. Sorry, I can't get it without the glare. It's just I can't really do anything about that other than taking it out of the card. But we. I'll know that's a bad idea. Like, I want to keep this pristine, you know? Here's Pop Goes. He has the tail that comes off too. I had, here's the thing about Pop Goes that I need to address. Lewis, if you're watching this, you, you're gonna want to hear about this. I think you actually mentioned it in one of your videos, but I was gonna say it. Some of the pre-orders might have magnets that are backwards. Like, the arm had a backwards magnet and I had to fix it. The tail magnet was backwards, so it wasn't compatible with Candy Cats. The magnets in uh, Shadow Bonnie's head and in Pop Goes' hand was backwards, so I had to uh, use a seam splitter to take that out and flip them around. But other than that, he is pretty good. Like, I like Pop Goes, he's pretty good. He's not one of the top five, but I'd say top 10 at, at best, like he's pretty good. Like I like how he's a different fabric than all the others. Like he's this weird little, it's like say a bunch of, you know when you're at the beach and you see a sandbar in the water? His fabric gives me the vibe of sandbars or layers of wood or something like that. Like, like he's made of different layers of wood. That's pretty cool, like I like that. Uh, legs come off, so are the arms. Like. Pretty much all, like all the others. All right, last but not least. Oh, I forgot his card. Here he is, placing the... Actually, it looks like he's pulling Shadow Bonnie's head out of a 3D printer, like you can see that there. That looks like a 3D printer and he just printed Shadow Bonnie's head and he's about to bring it over to assemble the guy to come after you. <laughs> Pretty cool. Last but not least, the puppet. He is not magnetic, like the presence magnetic on this, on one side and you can stick it to his hand. And you can bend his, he has wire in his hand, in his body, so you can stick the hands together. The only parts that are magnetic are his hands and the present. Other than that, he's just a wire skeleton with a fabric body and all that. I think they, the wire skeleton on the puppet's a little crooked for me, cause he, like, it's like at an angle, like the wire stops at the side here and goes down like that. Like, I don't, it works pretty good. One of the buttons at the bottom is crooked, but other than that, I am very happy with this one. This is such good quality. The st stitching is good. The present's nice. I did have to, like part of the bow was peeling off, so I had to super glue that underneath and press it down so it didn't fall off. But other than that, this is very nice. I, I, I think, D Daco, if you're listening, if you ever do a present like this again, maybe try making it so you can open it and there's like a surprise inside. Like I would definitely, like if you could get like additional, like booster pack gifts, and just make them so you can open them and find the surprise accessory inside, I would buy 20. I'm not even kidding, I would buy 20 of those. So uh, anyway, oh and here's his card. Coming out of his gift box at the prize corner. These are extremely good. Like I can't even get over how good they are. Like they are, wow. Like I, these are 10 at, no. You know how some people say 10 out of 10? These are 12 out of 10, I'm not even kidding. So uh, anyways, yeah, that's the Hex, Hex plushies with the toy animatronics, Candy Cat, Pop Goes, and the Puppet. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. And uh, hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later, peace.